All right, guys, welcome back to Project Tube and to part four of casting gear down for what? Planetary Gearbox. We are almost to the finish line. We have one last part to cast, the input ring gear, and uh, then we can start assembling it, much like it's shown here, and see if it all fits together and if this whole thing worked or not. So let's get started. All right, first things first, let's get these sprues attached. I'm just going to set up the sprues like I did in the last video, except there's only one piece to cast this time, so it'll be half as much, basically. Just like the output ring gear, this input ring gear has a slice through it, so you can kind of bend it open, fit in the planetary gears, and then kind of bend it back. Um, but unfortunately, unlike the output ring gear, this one doesn't want to stay together, so I just took a piece of a previous mold that's just plaster and sand um, that I used on the last mold and stuck it in between there to keep them separated so that when I do the pour, they don't fuse together. And just like all the other videos, I'm taking a plaster and sand mix and just painting it into the gear teeth and around the whole assembly so that we don't get any bubbles or any imperfections when we do the cast. Now that all the plaster that I painted on the model is fairly dry, it's time to go ahead and sink it into the main plaster mold. So here's the finished mold and it still needs to dry a little bit and then we'll be ready for the burnout process and to make our pour. So in reviewing the video of the pour here, I noticed two things. One, the flames, which I don't remember seeing, but obviously they were there. And two, if you watch, the metal kind of drops down in the main sprue. That's not really a good sign. So we'll see how it comes out. All right, guys, I, I don't have it totally cleaned up yet, but um, everything looks really good. The only place that I see an issue is I got a bubble right in here where I stuck that piece, and I must not have painted it good in there, so there's a small bubble on either side where this comes together. Not an issue. I can grind it, cut it right off. Uh, but all the teeth so far look like they came out very good. So I'm going to get it cleaned up the rest of the way and get the screws cut off and then we'll take a look at it and then hopefully assemble it. Alright guys, so here is the stunning conclusion to casting gear down for what's planetary gearbox. And the conclusion is, is that it's a fail. Which is not surprising to me. I said in the beginning of this uh, project, this series, that it would be very, very difficult to cast this despite everybody's comments that it was a very easy cast, that you just 3D print it, put it in plaster or sand for that matter, and cast it and, you know, bam, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. So let's look at what, what caused the failure uh, as far as I can tell. Uh, will these turn? Yes, they will turn. I can get them to turn. No problem. Cool. Um, but there's still a gap here. And the same thing with the output gear. Still a gap. Quite a large gap on the output gear. So what happened? I believe that the input and output ring gears shrunk a lot more than the planetary gears. Um, possibly you could recast these but you'd be guessing on the size. I mean, I suppose you could do some measurements and stuff like that and figure it out. Um, because getting this all to fit together, uh, it just won't. It won't fit together. Um, so this does fit in here. 
and but getting this on here you just can't do it uh, you can't get rid of that gap and I can't get rid of this gap the other issue is that when you are manipulating this trying to get it to fit this this ring gear becomes out of it's not perfectly circular I don't know if you can tell that now and I've screwed around with it a couple times bending it back and forth to get it circular one way to you know get around this would be to put another cut up here and make this a two-piece part so that you could clamp it together like that um, with like a zip tie or some kind of clamp uh, that would keep it fairly circular um, and not you wouldn't have to bend it around on stuff like that so uh, I think that's why it failed uh, like I said it will turn I can hook a drill up to this and it will turn but it just ends up skipping teeth down here at the gap and this one has even a larger gap, which I think is interesting because it's a smaller piece of metal. There's less metal on this ring gear, so it should have shrunk less than anything else. And I scaled these larger to account for the shrinkage, but that's not exactly a precise uh, way of doing it. So can this be cast correctly and work correctly? I'm sure it can. Um, I don't have the skill to do it, flat out, to be honest. So uh, there's, they make programs for casting. Professional companies use them to model the casting using um, fluid dynamics and stuff like that to figure out what the end cast will be like. Likely that would be the best way to move forward with this um, if that was the case. So, but again, one of the reasons I did this was one, everything's an experience and you learn from everything that you do. I was really surprised at how each of the gears came out. The gear teeth came, in, came out really good. And also just to show how difficult it was. It wasn't just as easy as printing these things out and then casting them and you would get a perfect cast and, and everything would work correctly. So I still had a lot of fun doing it. I learned a lot doing it. So in my opinion, it wasn't a waste of time. Um, I'll still send this to Gear Down for what? Maybe he can uh, you know, get it working. Uh, I don't think so, but possibly he knows more about his gearbox than I do. Um, and at the very least, he can put it up on his desk and be like, this is my gearbox. Pretty cool, out of metal. I, the other reason I did this project was because I plan on doing gears for my wind generator. One of the first videos I did was uh, making the wind generator. It was one of my most popular videos. Also, in my opinion, one of the suckiest videos I've done, but it's fairly popular. And so I want to do a gearbox for the wind generator. And this is what I've come up with in Fusion 360. It's just a simple um, pinion gear. The, gear. the wind generator will go here and the blades will go up here. This, this has a whole face plate and stuff that goes on it. And this will gear up the, um, the wind generator so that I can get more RPMs to the wind generator. So look forward to that. If you guys enjoyed this, maybe you learned something from it. Either way, make sure you hit like if you liked it and subscribe to see my next stuff, my next project, which will probably be the wind generator thing. We'll see. Um, I got a bunch of ideas for new stuff. So We'll see how it goes, and uh, as always, guys, I will see you next time, and thanks for watching.